it's so hard to read some of this. Sometimes I have to come back and kind of look at it on film. And then I can kind of make heads or tails of what some of it says. There's a hurdle. I can see 1800s. I can make out that they existed in the 19th century, but it's... A little bit more legible on these nice white gravestones, huh? Crazy to think that this church would have been built when President Ulysses S. Grant would have been president. Because well, he, he was president from, what, 1869 to 77, so... And I think this church well, was built in 76, so yeah towards the end of his presidency. I mean, not long, terribly long after Abraham Lincoln's assassination, huh? Let's see some of these. Here's some really old ones. Born in 1821 and 1843. Okay, now this person at least was born in the 1700s. Oh, they were a doctor. MD. <laughs> That's cool. Like I said, we'll go back and read sign. If y'all can make, maybe y'all can make out some stuff that I am having trouble making out. There's an old Freemason there. Look at that. It's kind of looks like some kind of globalist elitist that <laughs> have a ball like that on there. Six, September 5th. A lot of times the woodsmen of the world have some sort, yeah, they have the wood, like the stump and the logs, but usually a limb indicates that it was a, a baby. Well, maybe not. Fanny Turner. I know a lot of, uh, I know there are Revolutionary War soldiers here and uh, to 
Civil War. Civil War soldiers, huh? Usually you find a few Civil War soldiers at every, every cemetery that uh, dates back to the 1800s, seems like. Oh, there's a stain back. That, that's probably somebody that uh, tied into the stain back store over there. See, he has the wood on top. That's always the woodsman of the world. That's a fraternity, a fraternal organization that's pretty prominent. And they're also an insurance agency as well. Um, I think it's called the woodsman of the world, uh, um, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry if I'm messing that up, but I'm pretty, pretty uh, positive on that. Man, some of these are so dark. That's cool looking, look at that. Uh, for uh, Freemason symbol at the top. It's a big one. Some of the stones back, back in the uh, uh, late uh, 19th century and early 20th century are so uh, so awesome. Just the just the detail in them. If, if they, you know, you can always tell the people that had, had money that that they could. Now, some of the times, some of the ones that are real thin. They end up being the ones you see cracked and laying everywhere in an old cemetery, and that's kind of always sad to see, but it's, it happens, especially in old cemeteries that aren't well taken care of, that, are, aren't, uh, that aren't well kept. Maynard. There's some Maynards. 